Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's episode we'll be making some stop blocks for my recent table sled that I've made. So stick around and check out the video. Right, so if you haven't seen the video of me making this particular sled, uh, I do encourage you to check it out. Link up above and obviously down below in the description as always. So go and have a look. I want to make a few stop blocks uh, for this particular sled. What I'm going to be utilizing is a T-track right on the fence uh, as you can see there. I think this is one of the simplest ways to actually add this fantastic feature to your uh, table sled. I actually want to make few of the stop blocks. Why? Because not all of them will be suitable for um, every single job that you may come across in your workshop. And at the same time, I actually want to check which one, which design would be the best. So in today's video, we're going to check two different types. Obviously, if you want to see the rest of the designs and then at the end comparing all of those, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel, press that bell notification button so you won't miss any of my future videos. But let's jump into the project. So what we're going to need for the first design, I'm going to need a bolt, a locking device in this case it's going to be a, a plastic knob obviously you can make them yourselves there's a there is a fantastic array of videos on how to make those from wood and i'm going to be using 18 mil plywood so let's cut everything to size and let's put it together that's simple okay so in this case we're going to just need two pieces of 18 mil plywood the first one is um, four centimeters wide and 3.8 centimeters long and the other bit is again four centimeters wide and 9.5 centimeters long so as you can see i'm using my table saw to cut everything to the right dimensions And now it's time to drill in the smaller piece, a hole that will accommodate for the bolt that will ride on our T-Track. And as you can see, uh, I've clamped it with my hand screw clamp that I recently made. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's made from burl and some resin. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, I'm actually using it, which I'm in shock myself. If you want to see how I made it, I'm going to link it up above and down below in the description. Check it out, because it's an amazing project. Okay, and it's now time to put everything together. Uh, initially, I'm going to be using some C8 glue with an activator to connect the two pieces together. And I'm actually going to be using a piece of paper as a spacer between the fence and obviously the stop. And after that, I will reinforce the connection with some screws.
Okay, so as you can see, it's a really dead simple stop block that uh, you can do from any scraps of wood you've got lying about in your workshop. The only thing is, obviously, you need a bolt and uh, some sort of a, um, a star knob on top of it, so it's really easy to use. Now, obviously, it's not perfect, so that's the first design. But let's have a look at option number two. Okay then, so what is the second option for today's video? Well, I want something that's foldable because to get rid of this stop block I actually have to take it out of the T-Track and if I'm changing the length of piece I'm actually cutting this could be quite annoying getting this out and in all the time it actually would be a lot easier to fold it out and uh, that would actually mean there's another feature with it it's a lot safer again we're starting off with two pieces of 18 mil plywood uh, a smaller one and a larger one that will be uh, sitting and blocking our pieces of work but this time they will not go like this they will actually go next to each other and again i'm going to pre-drill the hole at the top um, to secure it to the t-track as we did before but on this occasion we're also going to pre-drill the holes in the sides on uh, both of the pieces and that to allow a bolt to go through them and basically give us this ability um, like so of this movement so let's go to the pillar drill Okay then, so it's time to put everything together. So we've got the two pieces. As you can see, I've sanded this round so we can actually um, allow for this movement to happen on my cross course sled. I'm going to be using these hex drive head nuts. I uh, found them the easiest to uh, actually use in this project. So I'm just going to drive that in. And to put the clamp together we need two washers and a bolt that's a little bit longer so it's quite straightforward uh, so the setup is like that as you can see but uh, to make sure this bolt actually stays in place, I'm going to be using 5 minute epoxy just to, um, just to make sure it doesn't undo itself as when it's used.
And there you go guys, a dead simple stop blocks. There's really nothing to it to actually make them very very simple as long as you've got the t-track or you can make it yourself a t-groove um, and just use normal bolts you can make your own um, knobs and it will work absolutely fine so these are the two basic first designs that i'm going to be showing you um, with this one obviously you've got the ability to when you lock it in place you know where you want to do the repetitive cuts but um, for some reason you actually need to make a larger piece of bigger cuts or a different size you just take it out um, and you know fold it away and it's not in the way and you can make your cut whereas with this one obviously you have to take it all out to be able to make the cut but that doesn't mean the uh, foldable one doesn't come with its own issues because it's on a bolt it actually does have a little bit of a play from left to right about a probably a fraction of a millimeter there but um, you know if you're doing a lot of repetitive cuts you're putting them up against it and actually the stop block could shift that fraction of a millimeter and if you are uh, here for a precise work that may not be the best solution for you uh, far better is the stationary stop block that's not going absolutely anywhere but as I mentioned before, these are only the two first basic designs I will be showing you um, for, uh, for this crosscut sled. But to be fair, you can use them in any other jigs you may have. And in the near future, I will be showing you a bit more complicated uh, stop blocks with some additional cool features. So make sure to stick around my channel and check out those as well. Um, obviously, I am upgrading my workshop constantly and I've made a playlist that you can watch with all the upgrades I have have done to my workshop. It should appear just over here now. So go and click it, have a look at the other videos about my workshop, maybe my workbench with the flip top mitosaur station. And um, I hope you're going to find something interesting there as well. But thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Take care.